The European Social Class for Molecule Research, CERN, is uncovering subtleties of one more particle. The smasher, today on various events, is more significant and twice as fundamental. It has seen three new particles that could be useful in figuring out how our universe was imagined and what its future appears to be. Researchers at CERN have of late uncovered divulgences that turn how we decipher the universe on its head. Under the external layer of their enormous tests lies a colossal spread of particles and controls, so curious they could be straight far away from possible parts to substitute perspectives. Particles that challenge the genuine explanation of the true. What stupefy advantaged bits of knowledge are confidential inside these tests? Could we, sooner or later, skip into the universe of CERN and relax the bits of information that could reconsider our universe? The section to new marks of view, a wormhole, could theoretically show up out of nowhere above, and the explanation would be the remarkable evaluations driven at CERN, home of the Colossal Hadron Collider, LHC. The LHC is the world's biggest and most powerful molecule smasher, viewed as close to Geneva, riding the line between Switzerland and France. There are advantaged secrets about this uncommon association that the world doesn't have, some association in insider facts that could change how we view material science. In all actuality, the universe, CERN, the European Association for Atomic Investigation, works this enormous, unsurprising instrument. It connects in excess of 27 kilometers and sits critical underground. The motivation behind the Colossal Hadron Collider is to give physicists the capacity to test the assessments of different theories in molecule material science. This hardens the high-profile appraisal of the standard model of molecule science, which helps us in figuring out the essential structure blocks of the universe. At its center, the Goliath Hadron Collider works by speeding up protons to essentially the speed of light before beating them together. These impacts produce a shower of new particles which study to get bits of knowledge into the guidelines of nature. It was through such starters that the Higgs boson, much of the time alluded to as the God particle, was discovered in 2012. This transparency bore witness to how particles get mass and was a huge moment in nuclear material science. The tests driven at the gigantic Hadron Collider are fundamental for figuring out attributes that happen under ridiculous circumstances, basically vague from those not long after the Big Bang. The information added up to can fill us in more about how the universe begun, evolved, and about the basic constituents of matter. This makes the gigantic Hadron Collider a player in possibly revealing new bits of reality including dark matter and the central forces of nature. Such high-level trial and error at CERN doesn't come without worries. Some estimate about high-energy tests making dark holes or intriguing matter that could introduce dangers to Earth. Anyway, CERN guarantees that all safety measures are met and prepared specialists closely monitor these examinations. Studies on theoretical models confirm that any unsafe conditions are incredibly improbable. Through its steady appraisal and exposures, CERN helps us figure out the universe better and demonstrates the surprising limit of human movement and joint exertion in seeking information. The LHC is humanity's continuous powerful event. The astounding Hadron Collider at CERN isn't simply an unimaginable piece of innovation. It is a wonder of present-day science and engineering, worked with under the Swiss-French line. The Colossal Collider goes through a tunnel 27 kilometers in width and is fundamentally pretty much as critical as 175M underground. This makes it the best particle collider on the planet and one of the chief instruments in the field of particle material science. The movement of the Colossal Hadron Collider is intended to make do, assessing critical scale. The head ring of the collider, housed in a tunnel with a breadth of 3.8M, contains two connecting equivalent beam pipes. Each line arranges protons in the opposite direction, quickly propelling them with a series of superconducting magnets. These magnets are fundamental for maintaining the proton's course at speeds near that of light. Integrating the beam pipes are layers of cooling structures that keep the temperature colder than space, required to keep the superconducting magnets at their working temperature. The size of the massive Hadron Collider is additionally underlined by its use of extraordinary magnets, including 1,232 dipole magnets to bend the beams and 392 quadrupole magnets to focus them. The best and most powerful superconducting magnets used are 15M long and weigh 35 tons each, showing the massive scale and technological aspirations behind the collider. 
The principal goal of the Gigantic Hadron Collider is to explore the wanderer bits of the universe by seeing the smallest pieces of matter. By speeding up particles to essentially the speed of light and consequently colliding them, the Gigantic Hadron Collider allows physicists to zero in on the next particles created during these impacts. This cycle helps in testing and expanding our understanding of the standard model of molecule science, which is the best depiction of the subatomic world. One of the imperative targets behind the enormous Hadron Collider's tests is to uncover the insider facts of the Higgs boson. Its discovery at CERN in 2012 confirmed hypotheses about how particles acquire mass. The Gigantic Hadron Collider moreover examines other central particles and forces, attempting to answer critical questions like the presence of dark matter and the nature of the universe shortly after the Big Bang. The enormous Hadron Collider needs to confirm the presence of new particles that speculative material science predicts, yet has not yet observed. These assessments are key for possibly finding new physics beyond the standard model, including supersymmetry and aspects beyond the ordinary three-dimensional viewpoints. The vision behind the amazing Hadron Collider isn't just to figure out the universe's plan, but also to support global cooperation with numerous specialists from over 100 countries participating. The immense Hadron Collider is a confirmation of overall collaboration in the quest for knowledge. Its design and scale enable it to deal with the most serious demands in material science. Its reason stretches beyond simple intellectual curiosity, aiming to encourage how we unravel the universe and support worldwide participation in science. Through this massive and complex device, humanity continues to expand the limits of what is known and experienced in the quantum realm. But how does the Huge Hadron Collider truly work? At the center of CERN's examination facilities, the Colossal Hadron Collider functions as a strong improving point of intermingling into the quantum space, permitting experts to see and study the fundamental particles that make up everything in the universe. The process of particle speed increment and collision at the Huge Hadron Collider is a critical method for testing the underpinnings of material science. Inside the collider, two high-energy particle beams travel at essentially the speed of light before they are made to collide. These beams travel inside tubes kept at ultra-high vacuum, mimicking the conditions of space. Superconducting electromagnets, chilled to temperatures colder than space, help steer and concentrate the beams at allotted collision points along the path. These beams apply huge energy as they slam into particles, creating a collection of subatomic particles, some of which are incredibly unstable and exist for only parts of a second. To recognize and analyze the results of these impacts, the Massive Hadron Collider is outfitted with enormous detectors, ATLAS, CMS, and LHCB. Each detector is designed for specific types of analysis. These detectors capture information about the particles, including their mass, charge, and energy. This data assists physicists in testing assumptions for molecule material science theories, including the standard model, and exploring particles and forces that govern the universe. One of the crucial discoveries at the Gigantic Hadron Collider was the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012. This particle, sometimes referred to as the God particle, is significant because it provides proof for the Higgs field, which is responsible for giving mass to fundamental particles. The presence of the Higgs boson was predicted by the standard model, and its discovery was an extraordinary accomplishment, confirming long-held theoretical expectations. Beyond the Higgs boson, the Gigantic Hadron Collider has also been instrumental in discovering a range of different particles. For instance, the collider has provided evidence for the existence of pent quarks and confirmed the presence of tetraquarks, particles comprised of four and five quarks, respectively. These discoveries expand how we might interpret hadronic matter, which is matter made of quarks bound together by the strong force that holds nuclear cores intact. These discoveries demonstrate the power of the standard model and open new avenues of exploration in particle material science offering insights into the behavior of matter under extreme conditions, such as those not long after the Big Bang. Hypothetical dangers, such as strangelets or microscopic black holes, have been subjects of public interest and continuous evaluation. Strangelets are a theoretical kind of matter that is more stable than normal matter. The theory suggests that strangelets could convert any matter they come into contact with into strange matter. The fear surrounding the theory is that if strangelets were created during particle collisions at the LHC, they might potentially convert the Earth's matter into strange matter. 
However, broad evaluations and security studies led by CERN and the global academic community have addressed these concerns. Studies have shown that, even if strangelets exist and were created at the LHC, they would most likely be very unstable and decay too quickly to have any effect on Earth's matter. Furthermore, high-energy astronomical rays, high-energy particles from space, constantly hit Earth with energy levels much higher than those produced by the gigantic Hadron Collider without creating any oddlets. This regular evaluation suggests that strangelets are not a significant risk. The worry that the gigantic Hadron Collider could create small black holes comes from hypotheses about additional dimensions in physics. Some theoretical models suggest that high-energy collisions inside the LHC could create tiny black holes that would vanish immediately due to a process called Hawking radiation, named after physicist Stephen Hawking. However, experts agree that if tiny black holes were ever created at the LHC, they would pose no threat to Earth. The ongoing work at CERN and the Enormous Hadron Collider has expanded our understanding of the universe, but it has also raised fascinating and profound questions about the nature of reality itself. The experiments conducted at the LHC are helping to shape the future of physics, not just by confirming existing theories, but by potentially revealing entirely new areas of science. The discovery of previously unknown particles or forces could redefine our concepts of space, time, and the fundamental structure of the universe. For instance, the search for dark matter and dark energy, two of the greatest mysteries in modern physics, is a major focus of ongoing research at CERN. While we cannot directly observe dark matter, its gravitational effects on visible matter provide clues that point to its existence. The LHC could help detect dark matter particles by producing them in collisions, or by revealing the way that their elusive properties influence other subatomic particles. Similarly, dark energy, which is believed to be responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe, is another enigmatic force that scientists hope to understand more deeply through experiments at CERN. Another area of interest is the exploration of supersymmetry, a theoretical framework that proposes a relationship between the fundamental forces and particles. Supersymmetry suggests that each particle we know may have a corresponding superpartner particle, which could help explain some of the universe's unresolved mysteries, such as the nature of dark matter and why the Higgs boson has its particular properties. Finding evidence of supersymmetry would be groundbreaking, as it would provide a more complete understanding of the universe at the quantum level. Theoretical ideas like string theory, which posits that the fundamental particles we observe are actually vibrations of tiny strings, are also being tested indirectly through the experiments at CERN. While string theory is still speculative and largely untested, any experimental evidence that could support it would be revolutionary in our understanding of the laws of nature. In addition to these advanced scientific inquiries, CERN's work has practical applications that may benefit humanity. The technologies developed at CERN, particularly in the fields of computing and particle detection, have already contributed to advancements in various industries. The World Wide Web itself, for example, was invented by CERN's Tim Berners-Lee in the late 1980s to meet the information-sharing needs of scientists working on particle physics experiments. The advancements in computing, imaging, and even medical technologies that arise from CERN's research continue to have a wide-ranging impact, demonstrating how fundamental research can lead to unexpected and valuable benefits. The international collaboration at CERN is also a key element of its success. Scientists from all over the world, representing over 100 countries, work together at CERN, sharing knowledge, ideas, and expertise. This collaboration fosters an environment of creativity and innovation, where breakthroughs are often made through the collective efforts of a global scientific community. The LHC itself is a symbol of this collaboration, bringing together thousands of researchers, engineers, and technicians to work on one of the most complex scientific instruments ever built. However, as with any pioneering research, the work done at CERN continues to raise ethical and philosophical questions. What do the discoveries made at CERN mean for our understanding of the universe and our place within it? How should society interpret the results of these experiments, especially when they could challenge long-held beliefs about the nature of reality? Furthermore, as science pushes the boundaries of what is possible, Questions about the potential risks and unintended consequences of such experiments continue to be debated. While scientists are confident that the LHC operates safely,
the scale and power of the collider have prompted public interest and occasional concern about its implications. Ultimately, the work at CERN is not only about solving fundamental mysteries of the universe. It's about pushing the frontiers of knowledge and understanding. It challenges us to think beyond our current concepts and to explore the deeper, hidden layers of reality. The discoveries made at CERN are not only advancing particle physics, they are expanding humanity's collective imagination about the universe and our place within it. As CERN continues its research with the LHC and other projects, the next decades promise to be an exciting period for science, with the potential for new discoveries that could forever change how we understand the world around us. The LHC's groundbreaking experiments will continue to inspire future generations of scientists, engineers, and thinkers, ensuring that the pursuit of knowledge and discovery remains one of humanity's greatest endeavors.